All right, Pete, let's start another fight. Here we go, WXC fight fans. Your next fight is scheduled for five rounds in the featherweight division. And it is for the WXC featherweight championship. Here come your fighters. First, making his way into the blue corner, please welcome Zeke Breininger. That's a good Irish name, huh? Breininger? Yes. No. Something like that. That sounds from my, German. From the fatherland. <laughs> Absolutely. Indeed. You can't say Führerland, huh? I would not have made a good German citizen. I'm glad that uh, my, my path took the way it did. Especially back in the day. No room for libertarians <laughs> in the Reich. Right. That's true. Yeah, I did that 23 and me and my my ancestry is like, dude, you're a Viking, stop it already. <laughs> like 99.8% Northwest European, 92.8% yeah. Scandinavian. It's like uh, pretty boring right there. <laughs> so that's when I got, the kids got it for me a couple years ago, 23 and me. And I was hoping that there was some pepper in the stew. Oh, I have not. And until you just told me yours, I was the whitest white guy in any room I'm in. Oh, now I, I now we're the you. whitest white. I don't know. I was 99.8 right. <laughs> also. Let's take a peek here. I had 14% from Zimbabwe, fellas. So, uh, yeah, but just from the waist down. God was kind to you, is my understanding. I cannot sit down. I haven't been on here in a while. I don't remember where to go. Let's take a peek. Let's take a look. Oh, it's dropped to 99.6%. All right, well, I wow. guess I am. Harley may be the whitest white guy in the room. He is. I, I think I'm officially. Let's, let's, uh, let's compare. And his opponent, making his way out to the red corner, please welcome Javon Henry. Ninety-nine point eight. I feel a little bit better. I got a little more pepper. <laughs> I, my wife was like, but you tan so good, and, and like, I don't understand how you can be that. And I'm like, yeah, yep, 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 I am. Nor Northern Europeans tan really well. Yeah, no, it's, it's funny, though, because like I said, I mean, literally, 99.8%, it's almost unheard of. Well, it really my is. Map is my map My, well. my 0.4% is from the Levant. Which explains my love of Lebanese food. Do you see my map? That's rather boring. <laughs> but hey, it's kind of cool to be a Viking too, I guess. For those of you who went to public school, the Levant is the eastern coast of the Mediterranean. I lost the title and I'm happy. Not, right. Levant, not Levant James. I'm glad I could help. What are we listening to? I'm not sure. Zulu, I think. This is my heritage, fellas. You kids, turn that radio down! <laughs> that was uh, Shaka Zulu, I think. Javon Henry from Detroit Jiu Jitsu as well. Seven and one. 
Good gym, man. That's a big step into the cage with a guy with twice the fights. It's a good test, man. Yeah, it really is. Tim Estruth will be fighting very soon, and he's in the corner. Yeah, he's trusting that intermission, but I've been to enough fights where that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, we have an intermission, we have an intermission. No, no, go, go, go. Right. <laughs> we gotta be out of the venue. All right, let's go to Pete Trevino with your official WXC introductions. Here we go, WXC fight fans. The following contest is scheduled for five rounds in the featherweight division, and it is for the WXC featherweight championship. Being brought to you tonight by FKNG Vodka, Motor City Automotives, and Fiber Bright Incorporated. Formally introducing all three men in the cage at this time, starting with your championship referee, James Lee. And now your championship fighters. First, fighting out of the WXC blue corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in blue and red. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in at 145.3 pounds. He is a boxing specialist representing counterpunch. He comes to the WXC cage with a record of three wins and one loss, with two of those wins coming by way of submission and one big win coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of and representing Dexter, Michigan, ladies and gentlemen, here is Zeke Breininger! It kind of looks like he just smelled a fart. the cage fighting out of the WXC red corner wearing black trunks trimmed in white standing five feet nine inches tall he weighed in at 146.4 pounds he's a Muay Thai specialist representing Detroit Jiu Jitsu he comes to the WXC cage with a record of seven wins and only one loss with two of those wins coming by way of submission and three big wins coming by way of knockout fighting out of and representing Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jeremy Javon Bad Combo Henry. This WXC featherweight championship will be decided in five rounds or less. Referee James Lee with championship fight instruction. Gentlemen, over the rules backstage. I want a good, hard, clean fight. I want you guys to obey my commands at all times. Do you guys have any questions? Let's touch them up. All right, as we get started here, Bruninger in the blue corner, black compression shorts. Henry, red corner, black shorts. Pay attention. Henry hits like a truck. Yeah, he does. And what I really like with him is he's a rhythmic, meaning you could almost get comfortable with him not doing a lot, and then he just spurts. Oh, there you like go. That. Good point. Oh my God, he's so yeah. hard. That's yeah. it, it's, it's over. over. Yeah, that's exactly he it. He landed like six or eight of those. Yeah. Right, and all of them him. solid. And he probably put three on Bruniger when he was unconscious before he had time to hit the floor. Yeah, that Fast, was accurate, and so, so hard. Yeah, that's that's hard to beat. And, and the thing, too, was, see, so many guys, they come in and they feel them out and they throw one. Oh, that was more than a spurt. That was Peter North <laughs> style flurry right there. That was, uh, that was a hell of a, that was not a good fight he's for getting Zeke. His, he's getting his bearings now. Well, he's still trying to figure out whether to crap or wind his watch. He doesn't know if it's 2 o'clock or Tuesday. 
He landed right next to this bar on the cage. Yeah, but he was unconscious 12 feet away. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if we can get a replay here. And Henry says, I could go another few fights. Here comes a replay for those of you at home. And once he starts, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Here's the big one, 13, 14. And oh. he puts three more heavy ones on him after he knocked him out. Yeah, he is uh, pretty wobbly here. That part at the very end, it's probably a good thing he was out before he hit that. Well, that's that. Here we go again with the let's replay. Watch him, let's watch him hit the post. Here. Bang. This really hard right comes after he repositions here. And here's here. the winner. Bang, Bang. Right there. And he's out. One, two, three. And then, kaboink. Oh, yeah. And then one for good measure before the ref gets in. Yeah, thank God for the padding, but that's not a lot. And that'll jar your brain while it's floating around in that fluid. Well, that, that's going to put the insurance to a test, too, because uh, yeah. there's a CAT scan in that boy's future. Yes, there is. Yeah, and a suspension. He definitely uh, needs somebody holding on to him. All right, fight fans, into the cage. Maybe not. Yeah, he's, he's not good, man. Pete Trevino with your official WXC decision. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big round of applause for both of the fighters in this cage. Not right this too. matchup came to a halt at 25 seconds of the first and final round for your winner by knockout and new WXC featherweight champion, Jeremy Javon Bad Combo Henry. I'd say that's a good combo. Absolutely. I'm telling you, he hits like a freight train. Well, two title fights for Detroit Jiu-Jitsu and two belts going home Same to the gym. gym. Yeah. They got matching outfits. And there we are, Abe al and Javon Henry. That concludes our amateur card for the evening here at WXC 88. 88. Here inside the Dort Financial Center here in Flinttown, Michigan.